So let's say you're an individual that's looking to replace your current heating system. And when you're shopping around, you come across something that says single stage, two stage, or modulating furnaces. In this video, we'll talk about the differences of these stages and which stage might be right for you. Hi, I'm Jared from Fire and Ice, and regardless if you're replacing the furnace or the full system, you need to make sure that your system is compatible with both the outdoor and the indoor unit. In this video, we'll sit down with Roger Bakies, a residential sales professional for Fire and Ice. And in this video, we'll cover what's the difference between single stage, two stage, and modulating furnaces. What are the benefits of each stage? What's an example of a product in each stage? Who would be the right fit for each type of stage? And finally, what to do next. We hope by the end of this video, you'll know the difference between single stage, two stage, and modulating furnaces, and which stage is right for you. So Roger, let's jump right in and go over what's a single stage furnace. A single stage furnace is a, the most basic furnace available. It is basically on or off. And of course, you need more BTUs of heat or more heat to heat your home in the coldest weather than you do in mild weather. The single stage refers to the function of the gas valve and of course the function of the blower that, that works with it. The benefit of the single stage furnace is primarily going to be the price point. It's going to be the most reasonable price point. And of course the fact that it does provide more than adequate comfort for the average homeowner. The downside to the, the single stage furnaces are going to be temperature swings. Uh, obviously in the mild weather we come on at 100% spike past the furnace set point, it turns off, the temperature falls below the set point, and we can get temperature swings of two, even three degrees. The average cost of a single stage furnace is gonna start out around 3,900. An example of a single stage furnace is the Train S9X1, that is their S series furnace with a stainless steel primary and secondary heat exchanger. Individuals that would be a good fit for this furnace would be someone who possibly doesn't plan to be in their home for a long time possibly it's going to be a rental, or they just want a good, solid, basic system at a more reasonable price. Hey, that's great, Roger. Now let's cover what's a two-stage furnace. A two-stage furnace is a machine that's going to operate at two different capacities. So it's really like having two furnaces in one. In mild weather, it's going to function at 60% of its capacity. And then when it gets real cold out, it's going to go to 100% of its capacity. The benefits of the two-stage furnace are, of course, the operation would be at 60% or 100%. So it's going to be a longer run time, more even heat distribution, and of course, more comfort to the homeowner. The only downside of a two-stage machine is going to be the additional cost. And of course, uh, if you choose a model without the variable speed blower, you don't get the enhanced dehumidification and the additional electrical savings, as well as a uh, slightly better temperature control. The cost of a two-stage furnace starts out at around 5,200, and of course, that's a starting cost. Your particular installation parameters, size of the machine, location, and these types of things will affect the price as well. An example of two-stage furnace would be the Carrier Performance line, 96% efficient with the two-stage operation, solid piece of machinery. We find people that are a good fit for the uh, two-stage furnace to be homeowners that may plan on staying in their home longer. And of course, this is gonna be a good fit between the very top of the line and the basic. Puts you in the middle, better comfort at a reasonable price. And finally, Roger, let's talk about what's a modulating furnace. A modulating gas furnace is a machine that's going to operate from 40% to 100% in possibly 1% increments. This is gonna be a fully communicating machine and it is going to track that temperature and adjust itself up or down in real time to try to maintain the very most accurate temperature control in the house within one degree. And of course, its operation is only ever going to provide enough heat that is needed at that moment, not cycling and wasting gas. This is the ultimate comfort system and the best you can get in forced air heating. Really, the only downside to a modulating gas furnace is going to be a higher initial investment in the piece of machinery. The average cost of a modulating gas furnace is going to start out around $6,300, and that cost is a starting point. Your particular installation parameters, as well as the size of the machine, are going to affect that cost. An example of the modulating gas furnace would be the Train XC95M. 
one of the highest quality machines on the market and it's going to provide you with the ultimate comfort. We find homeowners to be a good fit for this machine that plan to be in their home long term. Don't mind a higher initial investment cost for the benefits and features it provides and what the ultimate control of the comfort in their home. If you want more information about heating systems, click the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time we release a new video. Thank you for watching and we're looking forward to making your day better.